blockchain can be used for refugees to have digital IDs, identifications, and then with these digital IDs, they can have bank account and SIM cards. That's very important because in some countries, we, if you don't have an ID, you cannot have a SIM card and you cannot communicate with uh, your family. So this communication, having a bank account, they are very important the first steps for empowerment. And this, uh, these technologies can help them, but these technologies do not have that power to empower people. So having a bank account doesn't mean that you are empowered or you are out of poverty. That's not, a so that's not providing a solution. But I think that's the first issue that we should discuss the politics and the next steps. So if we just stop you know, in the first step, people can have bank accounts and SIM cards. And if you think that they are empowered, then we will al just allow a space for corporations. So, okay, corporations will start earning money from these people. They will have bank fees. They will get some, they will sell their mobile phones. That's okay. But it's not a sufficient issue for us. We should discuss more about empowerment issues.